What if we're getting two great ones? I would pose this to the community because while I have been a staunch proponent of the idea of the fallow deer being our next great one, there was an extra something dropped with the New England update that had everybody in an uproar, and that was a brand new multi-mount featuring the European bison. Now this gave a lot of people the impression that we were going to get a bison great one coming up here soon. But with Australia, the fallow would be kind of a shoe-in for it because fallow exists on the Australian continent. And if you want to hear my reasoning on that, you can go watch my previous video where I talk about us going to Australia, which I still firmly believe. But what if, what if EW is throwing us a curveball by releasing that multi-mount, giving us all these down under and hopping around hints, which, you know, again, the fallow would slip right in. But what if there's two? I know that's a wild theory. I am on Hirschfelden right now, my least favorite of all the maps, hunting European bison in honor of that thought. And I'd really like to know what you all think of that idea. Do you think it's possible? Do you think it's a red herring, having that multi-mount having come out? Or do you think I'm just playing crazy? But we have some beautiful bison up here, including this monstrosity. And that beautiful grayish colored one back there. And there's also another big boy hiding behind her that I can't quite see. If I'm not mistaken, that light gray one might be a piebald. Now, I already have a piebald bison, but I can't remember if it's a plains bison or a Euro bison. I'm pretty sure it's a plains bison because I think I remember getting that one on Silver Ridge Peaks. I'm going to see how many I can take down because I'm interested in that level four. I'm interested in her for sure. But in honor of my wild card theory, I thought I would come here and try looking for some European bison. Maybe later, jump on, do some fallow. Now I want to tell my community, I am still working very hard on hunting Bob White Quail. It's a learning process to be sure. And I just figured out that the 16 gauge is much better than the 12 gauge. So video about that will be forthcoming. All right, let's see if we can get up on these beasts without startling them. Got that big old boy, but that's the biggest boy. Except that darker one behind her is not one I've seen before. And I can't get a beat on him, so I think I'm going to go for her first, because she's obviously a strange color. And then I'll try and pluck them off as we watch them run up the hill. Now, I do have the... Um, oh, I forgot to reset everything. Darn it. I do have my 338, so that should be more than enough firepower to take these puppies down. In fact, is this even the right gun for the job? Yeah, just being sure. <laughs> yeah, let's take him with the shotgun me. Alright, let's see. We got a nice broadside, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it. That should be good on her. Now, who are you? All dark and handsome. Nothing serious, it looks like. Uh, 244, 289. That's... Ooh, is she aggressive. It's too bad, though. Because you're gonna drop. Um, got distracted. Where did my beef go? All right, there we go. I want the big, big boy, the 298. I think they're going to go up behind those trees. Oop. Well, you were tiny. You distracted me from my real goal, which is that right there. Which I may have saved. We'll see. Hello, friend. What are you? Piebald. Nice. All right. So that's my second piebald bison of any stripe. We'll have to find out who her close cousin is or who her twin is, but that's pretty awesome right there. And then let's go check out our big beefy boy. And there he is. Actually, he didn't make it too far, so that's good. But yeah, what if? Ugh. Hello! Old. Okay, not bad. Ooh, 30 points shy. Okay, so we got some growing to do before we can say, hey, I am a diamond. 
awesome. All right, but not a bad take. We got a piebald and a pretty nice gold out of that. All right, and yeah, on to the next best thing. Be chewing on that though. Be chewing on that. What would happen? What would we all do if two great ones got released? My God, I can't imagine what the community would be like. <laughs> Could you? Holy crap. Uh, I think a lot of us would just fall over and die. Guys, I need to show you something. Is that a Twiggy Bison track? No, we already got a Twiggy Plains Bison, but we don't have a Twiggy European Bison. And that's about the size of a small female. Let's see if we can go find him. Twiggy! We got a Twiggy! Oh my gosh. Look at him! Oh my gosh. Give me a good shot. Give me a good shot. I need full score. Twiggy, turn! Twiggy! Turn, Twiggy. Oh, too quick. Come on, Twiggy, turn. Oh, you frustrate me. Wiglet! Turn. Okay, that's better. Oh my gosh, Twiggy, turn. I don't want to shoot him. It's a Twiggy! It's a European Twiggy! Oh my gosh, okay. Turn, Twiglet. Oh gosh. Oh, he's not going to give us a good shot. I'm going to have to go after him. But oh my gosh, guys. It's better than a diamond. Maybe this is the gaming god's way of saying my theory is correct. I don't know. But oh, did you see that score? It was like 0 to 59 or something. Oh my gosh, it was adorable. Oh, Twiggy. Oh, you are not Twiggy. You want to be Twiggy, though. Okay, this is, I think, my first long track on a Twiggy. We'll get him. Just need him to turn properly. I need full score integrity. Make sure he's a natural bronze. As much as possible. Okay. We're level three. There he is! Oh, Twiggy! Oh, Twiggy! That should be good. Oh, was that a hard shot? On our Twiglet? Oh, no! Twiggy! <laughs> Poor Twiggy. Oh, hello, dear friend. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait to see how tiny you are. Oh, itty bitty. Look at you. Oh my goodness. All right, guys, here we go. Yes, a natural bronze. We got a Twiggy. Oh man, look at that shot. It nicked it. I think, I think the bullet trajectories are, are off, but oh my God. Twiggy Euro Bison, you can go in with your Plains bi Bison cousin. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so adorable. So much better than a diamond. Oh my gosh. Natural Bronze, he's 27. Okay. The Plains Bison was smaller. It rated a 12, if I remember correctly. 12.5? 12 12.15? Or was it... F oh no. It was 15.12, if I remember correctly. So it's smaller than its European cousin, but still, still, we got a Twiggy European Bison ahead of what could possibly be, I don't know, a double whammy with the Great One Bison plus maybe Great One Fallow. I still think it's going to be Fallow, but it would be kind of nice if they did a dual release. So again, let me know in the comments below what you think if it's going to be uh, a double header this time or if it's just going to be the one and which one do you want do you want the european bison or do you want the fallow deer let me know i'd very much like to know oh my gosh he's a twiggy he's a twiggy take a look at the twiglet and for those of you who don't know what a twiggy is 
Twiggy is a minimum scoring animal, meaning the smallest of its kind. In order for it to qualify as a Twiggy, its minimum starting trophy score must be nine or below. It cannot be in double digits. It has to be nine or below. And if you don't think an animal even this size can make that, they sure can. They sure can. So let's go get him in the lodge. Yay! Okay, guys, we've got him mounted in the lodge right next door to his Plains Bison cousin. Again, this guy scores a trophy rating of 27.7. Now, if we ever were to find a level one with a lower starting score, then we would have to replace him. But I think this is pretty good. I mean, he's a natural bronze. He met all the requirements. And he is our Twiggy European Bison, along with his cousin, the Twiggy Plains Bison, 15.1. I mean, I'm sure it was 1-2 in the, in the original score, but uh, yeah. Aren't they cute together? Look at that! Right across the way from each other. Aww. It's starting to fill up in here, guys. We're starting to get some pretty interesting trophies. A video is going to come out about this one very soon. Like I said, I haven't given up on the uh, Bob White Quail pole. It's just taking longer than I thought. And then I have another little guy to introduce as well in a future video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do look forward to your commentary, so please leave it below. And I really am curious to see who's rooting for what. Are you team bison or are you team fallow or are you team both? So maybe I'll do a quick like poll about that and see which one's which and who, who wants what. I think that would be interesting to know. But thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate your time and your consideration. If you've made it this far in the video, please consider subscribing. It really does help me grow the channel and I appreciate more people joining me on my adventures, which I will catch you on the next one. Bye.